Hey, good evening. It's Saturday, October 12th, and welcome back to Everyday Talk 24-7. The video tonight is entitled, Don't Put Your Confidence in Candidates. Don't Put Your Confidence in Candidates. Now, as, as strong as that title seems, this is not a particular condemnation of either candidate. As a matter of fact, if we had two candidates that were running and they were both ideal, so to speak, I would still say, don't put your confidence in candidates. Because that's where we get off the mark. It, causes, it draws us away from God. I'm going to look at Psalm 146 again, which I've mentioned a few times in this election season. But I have, I have a recommendation for you. Every day between now and the election, now, what, three weeks away or something like that, read Psalm 146 every day. Read it daily between now and the election. And let the Holy Spirit reorient your thinking so that our confidence is not in candidates, not in parties, but in God. I'm going to read tonight just one verse, or two verses, verses 3 and 4. Do not put your trust in princes. See what I'm saying here, the, the title, that means powerful people. So you, you can say, do not put your trust in candidates, in mortal men who cannot save. When their spirit departs, they return to the ground. On that very day, their plans come to nothing. See, the candidates in this election, any election, but to say this one, they can't save us. And whatever great sounding plans they have, whether they're good or bad, when they die, they're gone. When they're out of office, they're gone. So where is the hope? The hope is in the faithfulness of God. This is liberating for you and me. This allows us to vote policy apart from the candidate. To vote for things that are in line with God's eternal enduring truth rather than hoping some candidate will make things happen. This gives us tremendous peace. This, brothers and sisters, is liberating to us. See, if I don't put my confidence in candidates, my confidence is in God, then I can vote whichever way appears to me to bring the most honor to God, apart from the candidate. Candidates are important. I'm going to vote for one. I trust you will too. But my hope, my confidence, my trust is not in the candidate that I'm going to vote for. It's in God's faithfulness to us. See, this really is unbelievably liberating. Take up my challenge. Read Psalm 146 every day between now and the election. Let me read it for you. Praise the Lord, O my soul. I will praise the Lord all my life. I will sing praise to my God as long as I live. Do not put your trust in in princes, in powerful people, in moral men who cannot save. When their spirit departs, they return to the ground, and on that very day their plans come to nothing. Blessed is he whose hope is in the God of Jacob, whose hope is in the Lord his God, the maker of heaven and earth, the sea and everything in them. The Lord remains faithful forever, unlike candidates. He upholds the cause of the oppressed and gives food to the hungry. The Lord sets prisoners free. The Lord gives sight to the blind. The Lord lifts up those who are bowed down. The Lord loves the righteous. The Lord watches over the alien and sustains the fatherless and the widow. But he frustrates the ways of the wicked. We stress over that. God does it. He frustrates their ways. The Lord reigns forever. Your God, O Zion, for all generations. Praise the Lord. Read these precious words. Once a day. 
between now and the election, and maybe beyond. Then we can understand why we can be so confident. Don't put your trust in princes. Don't put your trust in candidates. In moral men who cannot save. God is the object of our hope. He's the object of our trust. So as the election day moves closer, as political scene gets crazier every day, Don't put your trust in the candidates. Put your trust in the Lord, the faithful God. Let that liberate you. And then vote. But have confidence that God is on the throne and he is faithful. Let that reassure you this night as you prepare for the Lord's Day. And uh, Lord willing, we'll talk to you again on Monday. Such an honor to be with you each day. Have a good night. Bye-bye.